So we're finally back. Yo, y'all, it's time for 2K18. And you already know that we're about to get lit on, on this game, y'all. We are back here for another grind, and we're doing a my GM to start this thing off. And as you guys can tell, for a Lakers my GM, and this one did receive the, the most votes. Now, if you guys wanted me to do the Mavericks, the Suns, the Kings, or any of those teams like that, I do plan on doing them in the future. So stay tuned for that. But yo, it's time for my GM, the next chapter. Experience life as an NBA general manager in this all new story experience. So now my GM does have a storyline and hopefully it's a really, really good one. And if you guys are feeling this series and this video, make sure to go ahead, drop a like on this video. Let's get 200 likes for the next one. I know that you guys can definitely go ahead and hit it. It takes less than a second and subscribe and and a playlist to the series will be in the description below so make sure to go ahead and stay tuned for that this is release day so we're gonna have a bunch of content coming probably two or three videos so stay tuned for that but other than that let's get straight into the storyline and let me know because because my career story is pretty damn cheesy hopefully it's not like that on my gm but yo it's time for the los angeles lakers uh let's make sure that everything is all good right here and we're going to be the Los Angeles Lakers. We're going to be starting the Lonzo Ball, the big baller brand era. We're going to try to bring all of his brothers here as well. But other than that, y'all, let's get straight into the storyline. So I, I thought that there'd be some audio, but it looks like my boy's on the Dallas Mavericks. First off, why am I on the Dallas Mavericks? And I guess I just took an L out there and I'm hurt. I really expected there to be some like audio here and I was getting all prepped for, but take a deep breath, King. We should have the results any minute. Can the doctor please hurry up? My knee, I can't bend it. Something's not right here. I've never felt this level of pain. Yo, bro, right now I have tendonitis. My knees is hurting. You just landed awkwardly. The knee, you see, it's a trash trainer. How can this happen to me? I just dropped 30 points. It was 36. Get your. This is kind of cringe. I'm about to say it's early, but our initial diagnosis is a full tear of the ACL and partial tears in the in the posterior cruciate ligament in the PCL and the collateral whatever ligament. Dang, we our shit's messed up. <laughs> it's a. It's just a L. What you mean, bro? <laughs> no, this storyline is really, really cringy. Let's just skip through all this. I'm pretty sure if you guys want to see it, you guys can stop and read it. Yeah, I'm going to keep this 100. After watching this scene and going through a little bit of it for like five more minutes, I immediately realized my GM is trash the same way it's been for the last two years, and I'm going back to my league. Bruh. This thing is trash. There, there is no audio, and it's just a bunch of cutscenes, and you can't even import a draft class, which means no fun. So I just thought I would throw that in there, but let's get straight into my league with Lakers. My dream is not the move. All right, so guys, I actually went ahead and I switched this to my league. It seems like my GM is everything that I hated about the mode for like the last two years. The storyline is weird, there's no audio, and it's just too many cutscenes. And one of the biggest things is that it would not let me import a draft class. Uh, so I brought it into my league, and now we are importing a draft class, which means we can get people like Marvin Bagley, uh, Luca, Michael Porter, and even though these guys don't really look like, I will be updating it as the game is out longer. Like, the game's only been on for a couple of hours. But yeah, we're going to go ahead and we're going to be moving it into my league. I think this is going to be an awesome series, you guys. And like I said from the beginning, let me know which trades and which players we should be picking up. I don't want to do any crazy blockbuster trades. Uh, for the most part this season, I do want to keep with our core. We could look into trading away Brooke Lopez. And if you guys want to do that, let me know in the comment section below. Yeah, just, just slide me some trade suggestions down there and yo know, if we get those likes in the next video we will be playing our season opener versus our little brother the clippers and we will see lonzo time in full effect but for right now let's do something that the lakers have been really trying to do let's trade away lou all day now I, I don't want this series to be as crazy as all my other ones but i i also don't really want it to like be completely realistic and boring as well actually let me know what you guys want to see in the comment section below because i'm pretty much down for whatever you guys want to do um 
we can get J.R. Smith, but I don't think Cleveland would ever even consider doing that. Uh, how about we throw in Tyler Ennis? He's 23. He's not even that bad. All right. Nick Stauskas, Malcolm Delaney, and Dwayne Dedman, but we gave them a second-round pick. Hmm. We can get... I'm not getting Robin Lopez. All right. Who's in free agency, though? We can bring back Meta World Peace just, just because... He was actually on the team. Let's bring him back for one year. All right, so we're bringing back Meta Royal Peace. I really do want to trade away Lou Dang. Like, y'all really don't know. I also don't want to get... This is a really nice deal, though. Dwayne Dedman is actually a good deal. That's the best deal that we're going to get, and I'm down to actually doing so. We're going to be... So we're going to be moving Lou Dang for Dwayne Dedman. That's the only crazy, like, crazy unrealistic trade that we're going to be doing. I just really wanted to, you know... Get rid of Lou Deng's contract because <laughs> I know that that's something that they are struggling with in real life. But anyways, guys, this is a roster that we are using. We got Lonzo Ball, KCP, Brandon Ingram, Julius Randle. We got Clarkson off the bench, and who else? Uh, that's about it. Dang, um, I'm good with this lineup. Let me know what you guys think about this lineup. Like I said, I want Brandon Ingram to really ball out this season, and I want Lonzo Ball to, to just make everybody better. But while we are here. We might as well test out what the team can do. I really want to test out some of these players. So let's get into a scrimmage and let's just go to like 10. Let's see how to play with each of these players. I really want to see good things from Lonzo Ball and Brandon Ingram. I want to see an instant connection. Let's see what we got. Let's see what we got. Hold on. Is Lonzo wearing the uh, ZO2? Are those? Those are 2K. Yo. 2K said that ZR2s were in the game, or or is LeVar only going to be in, like, the my career? I don't know. But, okay. We're going in past that thing all. Okay, let me stop. Let me stop. That was almost really stupid. We're going to go to a quick little 15. Let's see who can take away the W. Come on. Oh, no, 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 no. That, that should have been blocked. Come on. All right, come on, Zo. Come on, Zo. Where is he? Oh, my... Bruh, I'm tripping. Hold on. He's wide open. Knock it. His jump shot's so weird. It's so weird. That's going to take a lot of getting used to, but hopefully we figure it out. Let's go. Watch out. There we go, Zoe. There, there we go, Zoe. All right. I mean, driving with Lonzo is really, really easy, but his, his jump shot is. That's going to take a lot of getting used to. I already know it is. Come on. And the reason, another reason why I like choosing the uh, Lakers team is just the storyline. Like, we can have a lot of storylines with, with LaVar, with Jello, whenever he's ready to, like, come into the league. And even with, like, other players like De'Aaron Fox and Markel Fultz. So, I think that, I think that, that that's going to make this series a lot more interesting and just more fun to play. Brooke Lopez is trash. Pull that. Knock it down. Bro, that connection is already in full effect. I'm telling you, I cannot wait to see what Lonzo and B.I. do against the Clippers. It's going su to be such a good game because the Clippers are a good team. But, yo, what if we come out here and sign Braun? Obviously, I'm, I'm going to ask you guys whenever the time comes up if we should actually do that. Because I feel like it, that would be, at that point, that would be really easy to actually win a championship. But let's just see, man. Oh, Brandon Ingram has a burner. That, that man just pulled up on Metal World Peace. Man, Lonzo and him are going to be a disgusting duo. Let me know if you guys are psyched for that in the comment section below. Ooh, get that. Let's go. Let's go. Go get it. Go get it. Let's go. That's what, that's what, that's what I'm talking about. So we're going to 15, just like I said at the beginning, y'all. We need three more points, which means B.I. might be pulling another three-pointer. Who knows? Who knows? Give me that. G give me those. KCP. End it. End it. And that's good game so the starters came out here and balled lonzo and bi had an instant connection ingram had six points off of two threes kcp had five lonzo had four and three and a steal as well that, that's what i wanted to actually see from the team and from the backups clarkson had five and meta road peace had three but yo i hope you guys enjoyed this video let me know where you guys want this series to go where the storyline should go and all that fun stuff i'm gonna be reading all of, of the comments make sure to go ahead like this video up and subscribe and as soon as you guys reach the like goal the next video is already going to be on its way so don't worry about that but anyways you guys this is Lonzo that we're going to be rocking with for season number one it's Lonzo Ball, KCP, Brandon Ingram, Julius Randle and Brooke Lopez who knows 
who do you guys want me to trade who we should who should we trade them for and just everything that has to do with this series but anyways i will catch you guys in episode number two we're gonna be taking on the clippers and even though they got rid of chris paul they still got blake griffin deandre jordan they they got danilo gallinari our boy lou williams yeah it's gonna be really really interesting so i'll just catch you guys in the next one i'm out peace y'all it's that your wifey say i'm looking like a whole snap green hunters in my safe i got old racks la bitches always asking where the coke at